263 describe the structure of the heart and how it functions. Here we'll focus on the description. So if blood is going into the heart, the blood vessel is called a vein. If the blood is coming out of the heart, that kind of blood vessel is called an artery. In this diagram here, here's the heart, the blood coming out of here, that must be an artery. This must be a vein, blood going into the heart. Here blood comes back out of the heart, that's an artery. And here blood is returning to the heart, so that's here, that must be a vein. Now the technical term for a lung is pulmonary and so we just add this name here that gives the pulmonary artery which takes blood from the heart to the lung and here again we apply pulmonary so we have pulmonary this is the pulmonary vein and this takes blood from the lung to the heart. The major artery in the body is the aorta and the major vein in the body, this one here, is called the vena cava. So that names our major blood vessels. Here's a general heart structure. Notice that the heart has two small chambers here and here, which are the left and right atrium, and two large chambers here, which are the ventricles. The left side of the heart and the right side of the heart are separated by this wall here called the septum. Again, you can see the major blood vessels, the aorta taking blood to the body, the pulmonary artery taking blood to the lung. And blood returning from the lung in the pulmonary vein. Blood returns to the heart in the vena cava. We have two vena cava here, filling the right atrium and over here the pulmonary vein filling the left atrium. I draw your attention to the valves here, which is called the bicuspid valve. And the valve on the right side of the heart is called the tricuspid valve. There are further valves here and here, and these are called the semi-lunar valves. Understanding valve function explains much of how the heart functions. So again we have the semi-lunar valves here, but we'll be concentrating on this valve here between the left atrium and the left ventricle. So when the pressure is high here, blood forces down through here, pushing the cusps of the valve open and the blood flows through to a region of low pressure. So we go from high pressure to low pressure which is the general rule for valves and blood flow. On the other side of the same valve, if the high pressure is here and the low pressure is here, such as when the ventricle contracts, then blood, if this is the bicuspid or indeed the tricuspid valve, high pressure here will get behind the cusps 
of the valve and cause it to close, making a heart sound, often described as lup or lub. This is the first heart sound. The semilunar valves here work in exactly the same way. When high pressure is here in the ventricles, it forces blood through into the arteries. But when the heart relaxes, blood flows backwards, closing the semilunar valves, making the second heart sound, sometimes described as This gives heart sounds of lup, dup. This is the closure of the atrial ventricular valve, and this one is the closure of the semi lunar valve. These are the sounds that one hears when you hear your own heart beating.